I suddenly had to say, excuse me, which one are we watching here? Because it didn't look that good then. And it's almost as it reverted back to that all that time ago. And then again, you get very impressed with him. You know, the second fight with Victor Cordoba. He's a little bit lucky to get the championship from uh, the Panamanian who was then out of Belfast. And then he beat him convincingly in the return. And then defended against Danny Morgan and Crawford Ashley and Manuel Sosa. held the IBF version too uh, against Frank Tate he won that back in 88 he made five defences before he lost it to James Tony. so you can't believe when you read statistics like that Jim you can't believe that what we're watching here yep. I think you'd be lucky they used to be all square after the first six rounds because there were so many rounds when they did nothing and little, even now, little is the keener of the two. None certainly the classier when he goes to work, but there's been so many long delays in him getting his punchings off, punches off. This is better. Well, they're kind of long arm flicks, not that you expect world championship power, is it, at all? And, you know, he's got a fair 27 uh, stoppages out of 42, which is not, can't call that bad. Hands up, hands up. Hands up. long range boxing has improved a little bit the last couple of rounds. referee collecting the scorecards there from Belgium, New York City and Panama John Coyle one of the uh, top referees in the game at the moment, certainly the WBA giving quite a lot of officiating to do out the ring there all the thought the seconds coming out for the eighth and the uh, shouts of take the belt in Steve Little's corner I imagine he came in very much the underdog and now he's saying hey hang on there's nothing in this fight I can still be champion of the world a real Cinderella job that would be haven't been out for 14 months oh well he's looking down there that was a mistake he nearly got clobbered there Jim what was that not like an amateur Reggie wasn't it just slipping and looking at the floor he deserved to be punished for that man has experience that's terrible the southpaw jab is a big problem to little when none gets it going he picks him off at all. I mean this is what you would expect from none I mean he is a different league to this fellow Little looks like the type of fighter to give anybody a decent rumble to him, which is why he's been in with five champions. I mean, nothing he does is particularly clever, Reg. He just marches forward and gets the punches flowing. None should be able to get him under control. But he always, he's always looked to me as though he lacks a bit of strength. It's a voluntary defence, of course. Uh, by Mike Renano. I wonder if he's wondering now, have I done the right thing here? the radio commentators around the ringside here at Germany, including uh, Henry Cooper, who hardly calls thrilling punches all the time, giving a blow-by-blow -blow account here. No, it's, it's, it's not actually what we'd have expected. We would have thought it would have been a little bit better than this. 
He switched in southpaw occasionally again, I don't know what advantage he thinks he can get with that. With a minute to go in the eighth. He's hustling and bustling away well, to the best of his ability, really, which seems a bit limited, I think. Crowd are chanting a little bit now, they're not too impressed with us. Lovely jabs when he gets them rolling. I mean, he really has an excellent southpaw jab. Boxing calls the referee. I think he should have said stop laughing about for some of that. So another look there, the overhead camera, Jim. You know, the right hand lead, he does it just crazy that, and looks the part, and then he goes to pieces again. And he looks good there, doesn't he? Yeah, when he keeps that little long range, uh, see this is where the, really, I mean, you think a man of his experience should never have done that. <laughs> and McQueen score card again, he's still got them even. Round nine. I'm not, sure, I'm not sure he'd been too generous there with none. Uh, I, I, I think I've got him just a bit in front, Jim. What do you got? None swung around a little bit in the last couple of rounds with his long range stuff, but Reg, he, he, he was so poor in the first day, four or five rounds of the fight. Still fairly close, and it still looks to me that he still has a lot of improving to do to get this deal under control. Just a reminder there, then the judges would know their names. One, one's called Orlando Sam. I'm sure you don't know him. It sounds like a t shirt. Belgium, New York City, Panama. That's assuming it goes 12, and the referee John Coyle from the Midlands in England doesn't vote. Well, the thing about Nunn, he hasn't looked any worse as the fight's progressed. I mean, he looked uh, a little bit fragile in the first round to me, and uh, lacking in strength, but he hasn't got worse as the fight's going on, so maybe this is as bad as we're going to see him. And you would expect him to be able to take over in the, the second half of the fight here. Well, it's certainly not a good way to sell himself, Nunn, in the first fight in Britain. See, he's never been prepared to do any work up close, man. And that's a sign of a lack of strength, lack of condition. And it all points, uh, in my opinion, to the fact that he's uh, struggling a bit of the weight. And even the good jabs he's throwing, they're not really powerful shots. Well, if he goes on like this, he's better off going up to the light heavyweight division, isn't he? No, I think he can do the weight, Reg. He should just do it properly. He should do it gradually and do it in plenty of time before the fight. You can't think about getting fit first of all and then drag the weight. Oh, that was a lovely punch from him. That's the, the quality that they expect from him. You know, it wasn't a real shaker of a punch, but the way he delivered it was lovely. Yeah, except that it didn't bother. He steamed straight back in. No, there wasn't he? any power in the punch, but the, the, the way he just brought it yeah. out from nowhere, it was lovely. That's a good solid shot, coming back from little there, good solid right hand. Trouble with little Jim, he, he's a bit short of ideas as well, isn't he really? Yeah, he's, he's doing nothing clever, just uh, bulldozing forward, but he's keeping the punches going. And that's always keeping the rounds tight. Certainly, since none has managed to keep him at long range, he's been faring a lot better. Five, 
Well, let's have a look at it again, Jim. This is this is where none looks boxing on the retreat, but looking good doing it there. For that, that, that's the punch you were talking about. Jim. That was a lovely punch, yeah. Not a bone shaker, but a lovely little shot. Just brought him right onto it. Delivered like a champion, but not enough. Actually, it's the first real show of class that we've seen from none. We've had to wait eight Fun. rounds to get that shot. Tenth round then. And it'll be interesting to see now if it does go the full course, and it certainly looks like it, I must say, uh, on how these judges are going to score this. Jim Watt and I have got uh, none just in head, just ahead. He hardly deserves it, but he is. Well, you nearly had him on your lap there, Jim, mate, man, backing up there. You could have told him what you think about him. How about lining it up in the last few rounds? A nice little spell at the beginning of this round uh, from Little. You see, these are good full-blooded shots. We haven't seen any of these from none. I mean, none can't afford really to let this fellow take charge. Well, Little might be saying, well, you hit me with a, what looked like your best shot and it didn't even hurt me and I came straight back in. sort of treating it like a decent spar isn't it instead of a defence of a world championship but yep, can come into millions missing, something missing Rage all the way through the nun's performance not that the quality that you expect he doesn't seem to be the condition that he's, he's never worked inside all he's really had going for him is a long range jab and you have to say has he been landing enough of those there to steal the points I don't want to become cynical, Reg, but we've seen some strange uh, WC decisions uh, and certainly involving some Don King fighters over the years. Seems uh, some favours. I mean, they've been quite fortunate with a few of the verdicts that have gone their way. I'm <laughs> saying the WBC, I realise it's a WBA, but... Uh, same point, if you take my meaning. Again, none, not really doing anything up close, sloppy. Real scrappy action from them in this round.